Hello YouTube, this is Satish. In this video, we are going to see how to transfer apps from phone memory to SD card in Sony Xperia M or any other Android smartphone. Now, the first pre prerequisite to do this method is we need a rooted phone. People who want the tutorial to root this phone is given in the description given below. And now, let us start a procedure. Now, let me see how much amount of free space I have. Settings applications now I have used 1.2 GB and have 884 MB of free space now let us continue to our procedure now we need an app called as GL2ST which can be downloaded from the play store select that app now I need to unmount this and other thing is that the internal memory of Sony is only 2 GB and I have Aspal 7 and Aspal 8 installed in my phone and the method to do this is as follows press this button and then select the move data option and now I want to move dead trigger 172.5 MB is the total space occupied by dead trigger select that one and then se select move option and it is moving it takes some time to move see it clearly Now the app is completely moved and now let me check my internal memory how much space is left out. Oops. You can see that only 1 GB is used from 800 MB. So 200 MB dread trigger have moved it to SD card. Now to launch a game you need to follow a certain procedure guys. Go to GL and SD. Now you need to mount means link phone memory with the SD card and select the play option then you can play the game as you can see I am playing dead trigger right now it's taking time having a high speed memory card is advantageous and yes you can play the game Normally, there's no problem about it. Okay, now I'm going to close this game now. And one more thing guys, when you unmount this one, your games won't work. When you unmount it, play the game, your games won't work. You should mount it and then play the game. Just let me show you one game. Uh, let me show you Asphalt 7. I have currently unmounted the, I have currently unmounted from GL to SD card and you can see my game closed automatically now I'll go to GL2 SD and then mount it and try to play the game your game will work perfectly if you like this tutorial guys please click the sub subscribe button and hit the like button to encourage me to make more videos see it's working now It takes some time to load.
and yes the game is functioning and that's all for today guys have a nice day